Praise be Jesus Christ. I'm on the last day of my community retreat and check out my beautiful Our Lady of Mount Carmel shirt. I love the Blessed Virgin Mary. One of the things I don't like is I don't like it when people downplay sins of sexual impurity. You know, you hear people, they have these expressions, they're saying, well, there's too much of a focus on pelvic issues in the church. Isn't that an awful expression, <laughs> pelvic issues? Or people say, oh, you know, there's too much of a focus on sins below the waist. Now, check this out. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And this is a verse we're so familiar with it. We use it in our preaching and our teaching so often. St. Paul says, this is the will of God, your sanctification. And then he goes on to say, the next verse, or continuing in that very sentence, he says, that you abstain from fornication. And he speaks about the importance of sexual purity and avoiding sexual impurity. He goes on to say, for God did not call us to impurity, but in holiness. And then he says, therefore, whoever rejects this, rejects not human authority, but God. You know, some people think, oh, the church's old-fashioned, outdated moral teachings, the church is going to develop out of those. You know, we're going to be, I don't know what, more enlightened and less, less, less strict. Well, the reality is that we are made for holiness and for purity. Like the Blessed Virgin Mary, she's, she's a model of purity. And so it's important for us not to let the world seduce us into thinking that sexual purity is not that important. Read the scripture. It's extremely important. It's so important. And also, we're made for heaven. Like, you know, I'm, I'm one of the few people, like people say, well, what's your reason for, for, you know, striving for holiness and trying to do the will of God? For me, it's very simple. I want to spend eternity in heaven. I don't want to go to hell. And again, that might be too simplistic for some people, but life is really short. We're called to holiness. So fight that battle. In the gospel today, I'm reading from today's readings, by the way, the Lord Jesus says, keep awake, therefore. For you know neither the day nor the hour. Now the flip side is it's important for every Catholic to also accept the fact that you are an earthen vessel. You're weak, you're broken, and you're a work in progress. And so yeah, you're going to have falls sometimes. And you'll have to run to confession and receive the Lord's forgiveness and mercy. It's a battle. And the Lord loves us so much even as we struggle, even as we have to have to get up again after we fall, he never stops loving us. And so a mature Christian shouldn't lose his or her peace, even though they're struggling. God loves a struggling soul. And the most important thing is that you just keep trying with the grace of God. Keep striving for holiness and purity. Viva Cristo Rey.